In this video, I will show you how to connect Shopify to Go High Level. To do this, first just go and open up your Shopify store and click on apps right there and then go to your app and sales channel settings. From here in the top right, click develop apps and then click allow custom app development. Then again, click allow custom app development and now click create an app. Now for the app name, I'll just name it Go High Level but you can really name it whatever you want and then choose who the app developer is. So this is me, so I'll just keep it to that one and then click create app. So after you have created the app, you want to go and click on configure admin API scopes right here. Now for the things it needs access to, you want to give it access to read orders. So you can just search for read and then underscore orders. And then here in the order section, make sure that read orders is enabled and then also read customers. So under customers right here, just enable read customers. Then after doing that, click on save in the top right. And now one more thing you want to add is read and then products. So where it says products, you just enable read products and just going to save it one more time. Now, what you can also do is read inventory. So if you're sending physical products, I do recommend doing this. So search read and then inventory and just do read inventory and then again, save it. So just wait for it to finish saving and then click install app and click install. So then it will be installed onto your store. So now you have essentially created an app that can read orders, customers, products, and your inventory. Now, after doing that, you will see admin API access token. So go and click reveal token once and just copy the token right here. Then now just go to go high level and sign into the sub account that you want to connect to your Shopify account. Then after doing that, click settings in the bottom left and scroll down a bit until you see integrations right there. Now here you should see Shopify, so click connect. And now you only need to paste in the API access token that we just copied and then the name of your Shopify store. To find this, just go to Shopify and within the settings, you will have your Shopify store name right here. Now, as you can see, the dot myshopify.com, it already says, so you only need to do the part before that. So again, also go ahead and copy that and then paste that in right here. Then click on next. Now you can import certain elements such as contacts, orders, product, and collection. I'm just going to toggle all of these on and you can also choose to do a transaction import, so import all your Shopify transactions. So if you would like to do that, you can enable it. And if you want to know what everything is, just hover over this and then you will see it. Then click next and then your sync settings. You can also sync it to order received trigger, transaction sync and payment received trigger. So for example, I'll just do all of it so that I can use it if I want and then click save. And now after doing that, you can see I have now connected Shopify and you can check the integration health right there. And what you can now do with the integration as an example is go into your automations and just create a workflow, start from scratch. And then as a trigger, what you can now add is, for example, when you get a Shopify order. So here you have Shopify and for example, order placed. So when the order is placed, I want to save that as a trigger. And then for example, I want to send them an email confirming that the order is placed, or maybe I want to add them to a workflow that basically gives them a discount code for a next order or whatever you now want to do. Maybe you even want to send them a review request. And for the review type, you can choose email, SMS or WhatsApp. And in order to configure where you actually collect the review, you can do that in your reputation settings. So now when a order is placed on Shopify, I will send them a review request. Although in this case, it would probably make more sense for this to happen when the trigger is order fulfilled, since that is another trigger that you can use. So now you know how to connect Go High Level to Shopify. Now, if you want to get an extended 30 day free trial for Go High Level, then you can go and click on the link down in the description. And if you would also like to get a three day free trial for Shopify and then three months for only one dollar, euro, or pound per month, they can also sign up through Shopify down in the description. So that concludes this tutorial on how to connect Shopify to Go High Level. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.